Hi, thanks for stopping by. I needed to build a crosscut sled for this hobby table saw and came up with this. Let me show you how. This is the Challenge Extreme table saw I was given as a gift a while back. It has 800 watts of power, a fixed blade height and no runners. But apart from that it's done exactly what I need every time I've come to use it. To make it even more useful I figured I'd need a cross cut sled. I started with a skill saw and chopped two equal pieces from this length of CLS timber. These will form the front and the back of the sled and don't need to be the same height. So I worked out how much height I needed on the front of the sled and then ripped that down on the saw itself. That offcut was then split into two to be used as guides to hold the sled in place. CLS timber has a rounded profile, so here I'm flattening one edge to make it easier to attach the base. With all the cuts made I was then able to remove the blade from the saw. This base is a square piece of 18mm MDF. With everything upside down, I eyeballed the position of the sled against the table saw and glued the guides in. With the runners in place, I drilled and counter sunk holes so that I could attach the back fence to the base. Off camera, I put the blade back into the table saw and pushed the sled across the blade to make an initial cut, although I didn't go all the way through. Then I flipped the sled back over, then drilled and counter sunk a single hole for the front fence. Using a square, I could then make sure that, that the front fence was 90 degrees from the blade. I clamped that in place, turned it over, drilled, countersunk and secured the front fence into place. Then it was time to spin up the blade and take it for a test run. This is a pretty basic crosscut sled, and like all sleds, it relies on the blade being aligned with the runners, or in this case the edges of the table. But I think it's going to suit me for any future projects. And on the subject of new projects, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of any new content that gets uploaded. I have a bunch of other videos you can watch. And don't forget that you can contact me on all the social medias if you need to. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can also support me on Patreon. There's a link for that in the description too. But that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.